Okay, the video I'm doing today, I'm going to show you how to take a cheap pair of shoes from Walmart. These were $6.87 and personalize them with heat transfer vinyl. They're $6.87. And what the heat transfer, this heat transfer vinyl that I use is Easy Weed and I cut it out with the Silhouette machine. You can use, you can use any images or design or however you want to, whatever you want to put on them. That's what I did before. I'm going to show you exactly how I did it. Which I'm going to do something different here. Do you see the uh, the seam? I wouldn't recommend putting anything on the seam. Maybe if you cut it and then put the side on uh, one side and then the other side. But that seam prevented me from being able to uh, get the iron down and in, into it. I mean, it's stuck on there pretty good, but you don't want to take a chance on it ripping or peeling. So I'm going to cut my designs up here. Like I said, this is just uh, easy weed heat transfer vinyl is all it is. And what else I have is I have this little iron here. It's a crafting iron. I do have a heat press, but I don't know that I'd be able to do sho shoes in a heat press. And a lot of people don't have access to a heat press. So this is another way to do it. That iron there, I got it for $10 at Walmart. I'm sure you could probably get one at Hobby Lobby or Michael's cheaper. You could use your uh, a coupon and get it cheaper. That one is called a mini fashion iron. Let's see here. You want to cut, get close to these designs as you can so you can place them easier. And also what I have here is I have a piece of Teflon from my heat press. I had Teflon sheets and I just cut a piece off. You could also use uh, parchment paper. Do not use wax paper, it will melt. So let's get our designs here. Stuck down, they're so thin, some of them's coming out. Okay. It's trash. Okay, so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna unlace, I'm gonna take the shoelace out so I can get my hand down into the part that I'm wanting to heat press because you do wanna put pressure on it. These shoes are pretty thick, so it does take a lot of heat before you can feel it. So it's, it won't burn too bad. Okay, so put your hand in there, get a good, get good, force on it and then you just stick your design where you want it and then with this easy weed it's got the backing it's got the sticky backing so it does stick on there some heat transfer doesn't have the sticky backing easy weed I believe easy weed does and I'm not sure which other brand does but I know easy weed does so you just stick it on there and then you're gonna take this and you can just iron right over that backing and it just takes a few seconds. And I noticed on this little iron that the point, like halfway through the middle and then the up to the point, is that it gets the hottest. And that's the key to heat transfer vinyl is you want to make sure it gets hot enough. You just peel that off. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put all my toe designs that I'm going to put on this part on there. Stick them on there. And just push it and hold it or you can move it around don't move it around too much but you can just push it and hold it on there see it lifts right up and you can put anything on these that you want you can monogram them which I do have a monogram letter but I'm gonna do something different with it from the other design I'm not gonna put it on the back okay Want to hold it on there for a second. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take your Teflon sheet or your parchment paper, stick it on there. I'm going to hold it down, and then you just want to press over it again after you took the backing off of it. Hold it until it gets hot enough, until it gets too hot that you can't keep your hand behind it. And it does take a little while. Like I said, these shoes were pretty thick. The material these are made out of was pretty thick. Okay. 
and I'm just using the point of the iron because like I said that's the that was the hottest part of the iron don't want to touch the rubber of the sole because it will melt there we go I just got that tile there so it'll hold on there see there's that then what I'm going to do with this D instead of putting it on the back I'm actually going to stick it on the tongue yeah you probably won't be able to see it once the shoes are laced up but if these were like maybe some converse or something that has a a, a tongue that sticks up past the laces it would probably be better but it's just adding something to it stick your tough one on there and then just hold it down move your fingers around make sure you get it pressed real good I'm going to do the back. tap one on there and just hold it to this other side And see, it's on there good. And then, so now you have a pair of shoes, which, like I said, I did a D on this one because I tried to do a design on the back, but that crease kind of made it to where it didn't want it really want to stick very well. But that's a way to use heat transfer vinyl with your silhouette and cut heat transfer vinyl and put them on a shoe and take a cheap shoe and make it into something that looks more expensive than it really is. Um, thanks for watching. If you want to subscribe, please subscribe. Please give me a thumbs up. And I hope to do more videos and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.